Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna have a look at the performance of parallels in the MacBook Air M1, and also compare that with the performance in the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor. So let's get into the MacBook Air and let's start parallels first of all. So we'll be starting up parallels. Now, by the way, there had been a question into the, our previous videos that asked us actually for the performance of the vo multiple virtual machines in the MacBook Air M1. So we made a decision to test the parallels performance in the MacBook Air M1. And right now the MacBook Air M1 that I have is an 8 gigabytes version. This is the base model coming up with an 8 core of CPU and 7 cores of GPU. So we'll be testing here with two virtual machines, one for Windows 11 and the other one would be for Ubuntu. So two virtual machines and running at the same moment of time. Okay, so here we are into our virtual machines. So it's ready. We have also opened up activity monitor. So right now, the two virtual machines are running up. One is with Ubuntu and the other one is Windows 11. Also allow me to just change the screen display wallpaper just to look better. So guys, let's come to the activity monitor and have a look. So if you get into the CPU monitor very first, so also you can see the CPU history. We can see that there's an idleness of around 75%, 80%. It go, it's moving to 65%. But yes, the idleness is staying very good. So that means there is a lot of efficiency remaining into the CPU that can be utilized. Now let's get into the memory. Have a look at the memory. So memory utilization is around 6 gigabytes. So 6 gigabytes is the memory utilization and this is the 8 gigabytes base model variant. So we don't have a lot of memory into it. But yeah, it's going good. We are running two virtual machines and both the virtual machines are performing good. Let's try to even try to put some load onto it. By the way, we can see that there is some pressure being built upon the memory. So let's see what the actual pressures are. Let's try to open up a video in edge on youtube so let's get into youtube maybe later okay. so let's open some 4k footage let's try to run some footages into it okay let's do even same here into ubuntu so we have opened up YouTube, skip ads, let's play, yes. so it's starting to play, let's switch to an HD at least, yeah 1440, Moscow, so we are playing some videos, okay, and the till, till the time the video starts to play, we have a look at to what's the memory and the CPU utilization. So CPU, we can say that there is a slight jerk into the CPU utilization. It has moved up, but the idleness is really good. The idleness stays around 60 to 70%. So even if we just push on to some more virtual machines, it will go very well. And okay, so we have got the videos playing. Okay, these are playing up in both the virtual machines. Let's see what's the CPU utilization that is around 20, 30 percent of idleness that means 60 to 70 percent of the cpu has been utilized okay that's utilizing a good amount of in cpu uh, but then too it's really snappy there is no load onto it and no specific load onto it so it's still snappy it's still running good let's get into the memory let's have a look what's happening to the memory there's a good amount of pressure now being built upon it's around 90 percent of the consumption so 90 to 95 percent of the memory is now getting consumed so it's around 7 gigabytes swap memory hasn't started yet you can see into the cpu monitor so cpu is getting filled up with the efficiency and the performance scores um, but yet it is good and snappy if we just get on to safari let's open safari even and let's try to open up some videos here too so even if i'm working here it's perfectly already as you can see there's no difference at all so no big differences here so even if we just get around into safari or even if we open up any another task in this machine so it's running good okay so let's skip the ad 
so 7 gigabytes yeah the swap memory utilization has now started that's around 91 megabytes okay so 91 megabytes by the way also we can see that the GPU utilization is around 50% so GPU utilization is around and good usage okay let's get here skip the ads so let's play the video so video is playing by the way I have some internet problem today so that's the reason might be the videos are not playing properly into the 4k resolution but whatsoever I wanted to actually show you all is up here so we can see that in spite of doing many tasks and let's open up also Android Studio here so let me open up the Android Studio okay and also let me open up Visual Studio so let's even VS Code Visual Studio so you can see that we are opening pretty much a lot of number of tasks and still it's performing really good so performance in this machine is really good so we also did a comparison for this machine with for the macbook pro m1 pro where we got to see that we were running four virtual machines at simultaneously so we got to see that the memory utilization was around 14 gigabytes and the swap memory was a little bit into more use but cpu still stayed calm and cool it had got and more space for Id of idleness so what we can definitely see that even if we're just switching this macbook pro air to a 16 gigabytes of version of to the ram so that would be a much more better option for student perspective like if you're a student if you're trying to get up with a degree into a computer science or software development so this machine within 16 gigabytes of ram would be really good machine for you and if you want to use a lot of virtual machines either like for example three to four virtual machines for any student would be just good enough to go around and if you're a professional who would be utilizing more of the virtual machines and will be using it actually for more performance tasks so then you should be switching to the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor because this has got much more potential than the macbook air m1 but for those who would be just using it for small little tasks so for them macbook air m1 is one of the best one to go up around with so guys if you were also into this question that you are a student or if you're just in general purpose user of programming and you want to run some virtual machines so this is one of the good machines that you can just go around with without any problems and for professionals who are actually dependent upon using a lot of number of virtual machines without a delay of time so for them macbook pro with the m1 pro processor is recommended so i hope this was a good perspective that can allow you to make a better decision for your purchase in the coming period of time so guys if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and meet you in the next episode till then goodbye